Hi, this is Mike Ignatowski, the creator of the Green Fox Spreadsheet, the spreadsheet that uses Excel programming to make the spreadsheet behave like an electronic baseball score sheet or score book, and it automatically computes the game stats, which can be a big time time saver. Thanks for tuning in, and I hope you find this video helpful. In this video, I'd like to cover how to correct mistakes that can be made while keeping score with Green Fox. You know, anybody who's kept score for any number of games has for sure made some mistakes. But this will cover a, a few uh, different types of mistakes you can make and how to correct those within the spreadsheet. The first correction that I'd like to show in this video is how to correct a, a scoring mistake. So in this demonstration game that I'm showing here, I realized that even though it's the bottom of the sixth right now with two outs, I realized that in the bottom of the fourth where Coach hit the sacrifice fly that scored Woody, I, I forgot to mark that Woody scored a run. So what are we going to do? So what I'm going to do is I'll leave the sixth inning unfinished as is and I'll get back to it later because this really doesn't involve any replaying or re-rolling, it's just a matter of correcting the score sheet. So I'll go to Woody score sheet cell and mark that he scored a run. So I'll click that home plate so that it colors in that center diamond, center square, and now I have that corrected. But up here in the score sheet you can still see it shows a 3 instead of a 4. So to correct that what we want to do is go to the batter who ended the inning. In this case it was Frazier who struck out. So I'm going to click that cell and all I want to do is say toggle this end of inning. So when I do that it'll remove the end of inning marker that was here and now I just want to put it back on. So I'll do it again. Click toggle end of inning and now it puts the marker back and when it when you click that end of inning marker that's when it attempts to compute how many runs were scored that inning. So by doing that, it recalculates the runs and it updates the scoreboard appropriately now with putting four runs up here in the bottom of the fourth inning for cheers. The next mistake I'd like to show how to correct is a case where you have incorrectly or prematurely ended an inning. So you can see in this demonstration game, in the bottom of the sixth inning, cheers had two outs and I accidentally marked it was the end of the inning one inning uh, prematurely. So what am I going to do? Well a little bit of it is, is up to you. You can decide whether you want to keep the results you had and just move them over to the appropriate inning. Like in this case just say well a coach grounded out so I'm going to move the ground out over here. I wish you could. Or you could just re-roll or reevaluate w what happened for each of these at-bats. So that part's up to you. But um, that's what I'm going to do here is just kind of erase the 7th and 8th innings and just start where I should have left off in this bottom of the 6th. So to do that what I'm going to do is just click on these uh, innings over here and just use this clear result button within the bad result form. So by clicking that it just basically erases these. So I'm just going to do that. It's a little tedious. Now in the seventh inning, you'll see when I erase this one, it didn't erase this end of inning, which maybe I should fix that and change how it works. But to do that, you click again and you just toggle this end of inning marker and that'll take that off. So I'll finish clearing these out. And now I'm back to the bottom of the sixth. There are two outs, coaches up, and the Next step I want to do is remove this end of inning marker that's incorrectly applied to Woody's uh, score sheet result. So I'll click this cell, click the toggle end of inning button, and it takes that off. And now we can go in here and figure out what Coach did. Let's just say he hit a home run. That's good for Coach. And Frazier fouls out to end the inning. So the other thing I want to show here is that when I ended this inning the second time, 
that it then reevaluates the score and updates the scoreboard appropriately with these three runs that weren't there before. So that's how you can kind of, kind of erase prior results and go back and finish any that ended prematurely. The next error I want to show you how to correct is the missing RBI situation. So I finished up this demonstration game with Looney Tunes beating cheers 18 to 9 and I'm ready to compute the stats. So my favorite part, click the do stats uh, button. It chugs through, shows me this window that says the visiting team runs and RBIs don't match, 18 and 19. And this, you could also look down here in this kind of uh, summary team stat line here where the runs and RBIs don't match. So it basically says they might be right, but you should check into it. Then I say OK, All right. and then it shows me the same window for the home team. Our RBIs and runs don't match, so look into that too. And then I get the standard uh, end of computing stats message, which we'll look at later. So let's look at these RBIs. We're, there seems to be one missing for the visiting team. And there's a lot of runs here, so there's a lot going on, but what I'm going to focus in on because I know what it is here which is the situation in the second inning where Speedy Gonzalez stole home. You can see the stolen base here at next to home plate. It indicates he, that he did steal home and when you steal home you don't get an RBI so that explains why there's a missing RBI for the uh, Looney Tunes. But for the home team, again, we look in the these summaries and we see their runs are 9 and their RBIs are 8. So let's see if there's, a, if there's anything to correct. So this score sheet's a lot easier to look at. So we look in the first inning, we have a two-run home run. The second inning, another two-run home run and two sacrifice flies. So that looks good. The sixth inning, coach hit a what should have been a three-run homer or was a three-run homer but it was only indicated with two RBI so we need to fix that so we just click on the RBI cell and bump it up to three and that should do it and to confirm we'll click the do stats button again we'll get the same message for the visitors RBI run discrepancy click OK and now it jumps right to the end of stat computation because the home team runs in RBIs now both have nine so they match. The last thing I'm going to cover in this video has to do with this final message that you get when you click the do stats button which says game stats computed please confirm with known limitations such as inherited runners making outs. And that's what I want to focus on here is this inherited runners making out. So what that means is you have guys on base, you bring in a relief pitcher, and one of those guys on base ends up getting out. The Green Fox spreadsheet isn't smart enough to know who should get credit for the out. The pitcher that allowed them on base or the relief pitcher that came in. So that's a situation where you may run into, you just need to be aware of, and here's what you need to do to fix it or to correct those situations. So in the case of this demonstration game, Cheers used three pitchers, Sam and Robin Colcord and Evan Drake. But you can see, because these blue bars indicate when the pitching changes were made, they were each made at the beginning of an inning. So there's not going to be any issues with inherited runners when you have a relief pitcher who's starts at the beginning of an inning. But down here we look at the uh, Cheers score sheet in the, in the visiting pitching staff of Looney Tunes. Bugs Bunny started, Daffy Duck came in in the seventh inning. And when he came in in the seventh, if we kind of look at this closer, um, Diane let off and got out, but then Norm, Sam both walked, and then Carla was intentionally walked for the second time and then Daffy Duck came in to pitch. So he came in to pitch with bases loaded and then got Cliff Clavin to hit into a double play. 
So this is the exact scenario that the message is trying to uh, describe. And here we have Carla, who was one of the inherited runners, and she got out on this double play. Now if we look over here at the pitching stat line for the Looney Tunes, it lists Bugs as pitching six and two-thirds innings and Daffy Duck pitching two and a third innings. But if we look at this again, we'll know that Bugs only pitched six and one-third. He got one out in the sixth inning and then Daffy Duck came in and got this double play, so he should get credit for two outs. So overall, Bugs pitched six and a third, and Daffy Duck pitched two and two thirds. So to correct this, this is old fashioned manual where you just go to the innings pitched cell in the stat section for the pitchers, and I'll click on Bugs Bunny, innings pitched. Now I could uh, double click it here to edit in the cell, which I'll do here for, so I'll just make it 6.1 return. Or I could highlight this cell and edit it up in this formula bar and change Daffy Duck's innings pitch to 2 and 2 thirds or 2.2. .2. And that's really all there is to it. The totals uh, are still 9, so th that doesn't change at all. But that's how to manually correct the situation where an inherited runner gets out due and the reliever should get credited for that out. So I hope these um, scenarios have been helpful of how to correct some mistakes or how to overcome some limitations with the Green Fox spreadsheet. So. Let me know if you run into any other problems that you're not sure how to correct or issues that you're not sure how to deal with and in the comments. I'd be happy to try to cover that or maybe make an enhancement in the spreadsheet to fix it. Thanks.